Say it one more time. Oh, it was great. It was a great opportunity to learn from a bunch of greats. Uh, guys like, I mean, I play with one George, uh, Greg Olson, Travis Kelsey, Darren Waller, you know, a bunch of names. Just at really all the tight ends were there. Um, it's cool to meet all them, um, you know, and get nuggets of knowledge, you know, and just trying to add to your tool belt to, that you can take out there on the field and just be a better player. You trained this offseason. How do you feel you improved? Um, I was in San Diego all offseason. Um, so I was just doing the uh, 49ers workouts uh, that Dustin gives us. Um, so I would train at uh, USD, my alma mater. And then uh, I would train with my trainer, Teddy, um, in San Diego. And, you know, like I said, doing the 49er workouts. And I was just, you know, it's the same every offseason, trying to get bigger, faster, stronger, uh, trying to get in and out of my breaks better. Um, you know, and be be stronger so you can take on those big DNs in the trenches. Ross, how different are you than when you first got here several years ago? Uh, leaps and bounds. It's crazy. Um, as a combination of just getting, like I just said, bigger, faster, stronger, uh, working on my technique with Coach Embo, um, learning from guys like George, you know, having opportunities to go to things like TU and all that stuff, like, like I said, just trying to add to my tool belt, you know, just not putting a ceiling on myself, just trying to get better every day um, and just go into each day with a growth mindset. What is the biggest thing you can take away from a, from something like tight end you? You mentioned a few things kind of generally, but what, what was like the biggest thing that stood out that you could have? I mean, it's just like iron sharpening iron. Like you're just there, you're around greatness. Like it's just going to rub off on you, you know, like that's that's what you can take from it. Just. I keep saying it, just trying to add tools to your tool belt, like stuff that you can have on the field, you know, that is just second nature to you. So when you're out in the field, you're not thinking, uh, you're just reacting and, you know, just trying to get better. How has Coach Embo molded you into the tight end that you are right now? I mean, Coach Embo is just the guy, like he's just had faith in me from the beginning. Um, you know, when I was in college, he was the only coach to come out and actually give me like a, a private workout um, at USD. So. From then, I just knew like he's my guy, and I'm gonna do everything I can to get better for myself, get better for him, just get better for both of us. You know, like just trying to improve each and every day, um, learn from him, and just learn from everyone. You know. You've had four at least just pretty ridiculous catches so far. There's one I think the other day where it's supposed to go to Sanu and you caught it behind the play. Yeah. Why do you think you're having so much success on those contested catches? And also, could you take us through? Just that specific one. Um, yeah, I'll hit on the the first one. Um, that catch, I don't know. Like I, I beat my guy on the choice route, and I was actually kind of like upset that I didn't get the ball right away. And then it went to went to Mo, and then the ball just, you know, I just, it just was luck. Like the ball just fell right into my my lap and just took off running with it. Um, and then just the other the other contested catches, like I just trying to have a. Mindset each time, just that when the ball's in the air, like it's my ball, you know, and I'm gonna come down with it no matter what. You seem more confident on the field. Do you feel more confident? Definitely. I mean, that's just, you know, getting bigger, faster, stronger, like I hit on, and just, you know, being more comfortable in the offense. It being my fourth year um, in the system, you know, it all plays into that. Mentally, how much is it, of a difference does it make in an off season like this as opposed to last year to be able to attend? Tight University to be able to work out at USC and, and not try to find a place. Yeah, definitely. It just feels more normal um, being able to come to OTAs. We got really good work in OTAs. Um, and then, like you said, being able to go to things like TU, like travel. Like I didn't travel last year to, to Nashville just because it was kind of in the heat of everything. Um, but yeah, it's just you just take advantage of every opportunity that you can to just learn and uh, get better. As a wide receiver, mm. what's the difference between other than pounds? What's the difference between Jordan <laughs> Matthews, a wide receiver, and Jordan Matthews, a tight end? Uh, you know, nothing much. He's just a, he's a great guy. You know, he's been in this league for a little while. Um, you know, so he's he's trying to learn from us, and we're trying to learn from him. Like he's he's kind of going into everything with a growth mindset as well. Like trying to soak everything up, soak all the knowledge up that he can from Coach Embo, from Kyle, from from us, like from everyone. Um, but he's a baller. Have you been able to 
to spend time with him and kind of, I mean, I think that's probably the area of your game, right? The blocking that, um, you know, you came in and had to kind of grow at. How can you help him in that area as well? Uh, it's just like giving him nuggets of knowledge, like in meetings, you know, like tell him, okay, the F's going to come back and sift this guy. So you got to go through, like just that's pre-football talk. Um, but, yeah, just nuggets of knowledge that he can learn from here and there. Um, but he's doing a great job soaking the offense up. Um, yeah, he's killing it. There's a lot of discussion about the quarterback situation on our end. Is it similar in the locker room? Are you guys talking about the quarterback situation? Not at all. No, not at all. Like, we're just – whoever's in, you know, we're going to give it the same amount every time. You know, like, we don't even – half the time I don't even know who's that quarterback. I just hear the play and just run my route or do my block. Like, it doesn't matter to us. And they're both going to – Give it everything they got when when they're in there. Is that, is that new? It seems like you guys might be rotating receivers and, and tight ends a little bit more. Maybe I missed that, but is that a new thing this year? Um, doesn't doesn't feel like it. It feels like normal. Yeah, nothing nothing different. It feels like. Do you feel like you have an expanded role within the offense though this time around? Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to take whenever I'm in and whenever my number gets called. I'm just trying to you know make a play, make the block. So I don't really, I don't really focus on that too much. What stood out to you about Trey and how he's done so far at camp, and what did transfer from OTAs to camp? Uh, just how he's how he's grown, and just you know how he's taking control of the offense when he's in there. Um, you know how he calls the play, like he's calling it with confidence, and he knows what what everyone's job is. Um, you know, he's just getting better every day. Right. What's it like to catch a pass? For <laughs> yeah, he's got some velocity on it, um, but you know, he's just got a cannon. That was a really, really accurate ball. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Sweet. Thanks.